Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean Olawley. Today we're coming to you from the Route 66 Interpretive Center in Chandler. It's almost halfway between Oklahoma City and Tulsa, so it's the perfect place to come and learn all about the Mother Road. This is a 1930s WPA era armory building that was made of hand carved native sandstone that was then chiseled block by block with this thing. It was transformed into the Interpretive Center by the hard work of volunteers in the city of Chandler. We'll have more on how you can plan your visit just a little bit later on. Right now it's time to head to our first destination. It's actually in Claremore. We're going to visit a family restaurant that's been feeding hungry travelers since the late 60s. Jason Grubbs takes us to Hammett House. The Hammett House in Claremore has been around for a long time. The food is fantastic. The desserts, famous. Let's go check it out. Gosh, uh, so proud of our food. Uh, not, nothing fancy, but just good Oklahoma. Uh, cooking. It's that kind of cooking that keeps people coming back to the Hammett House. Well, I've eaten here almost weekly for probably close to 30 years. How often do you get over here? Uh, I eat here about four times a week. <laughs> really? I really do. <laughs> Bill Byard and his wife Lynn purchased this Claremore mainstay from the Hammett family well over 20 years ago. The restaurant started in 1969 and it's always been on the same corner just off of Route 66. Yep, right uh, next door to the Will Rogers Memorial. It's a pretty great location. There's a motto around here. In fact, it's right above the door when you walk in. Uh, life is uncertain. Eat dessert first. I feel like I've failed if I haven't forced a little dessert down them. So let's start there. Bill says his staff whips up 14 different kinds of homemade pies every day. How do you choose? Well, you just have to work your way through them. I, uh, I, uh, my favorite's the German chocolate. Pie, Many of them are the original Hammett family recipes. Mrs. Hammett was incredibly instrumental in coming over here and, you know, teaching our bakers how to do the pies. And the number one seller is coconut cream, but all of them are delicious. We've got sour cream raisin pies up here, and then coconut cream, and banana cream, chocolate cream. These are our German chocolate pies. That German chocolate pie weighs 12 pounds. The peanut butter chocolate chip is 13. That's my gold standard right there. I call that my all day you know, pie. You, know, you just almost can't eat a whole piece of our pie in one setting. Well, I kind of like that. Uh, I think they were famous for their peanut butter pie there. I think that's the one I like. And then there's the famous sizzling apple delight. Hot homemade apple pie topped with ice cream and hot brandy butter sauce served in a sizzling cast iron skillet. As for the main menu, like Bill said, it's just good old Oklahoma cooking. Most of it's made with homemade seasonings, like the country fried steak. The best in the business. I'll stack it up against anybody, anywhere, anytime. Hammond House starts with the homemade gravy. We put that on the plate first and then our, our uh, country fried steak on top. We're not afraid. We don't want people to see it. We're not going to hide it with, with all that gravy, but, uh, but it's pretty impressive. Order up some tasty pork chops or a massive plate of chicken livers. They're famous for their lamb and turkey fries. Lamb and turkey fries are just the most delicate part of a little boy lamb or turkey. Bill says his crew can have some fun with the newbie when it comes to those appetizers. You know, I always go up to him after I bring him out and, and uh, I said, do you like those? Yeah, those are really good. What are they? And then I tell him, oh, I've almost lost a few, <laughs> but they're wonderful, they really are, good secret. There's some lighter things on the menu too, like the salads. All the dressings are made in-house. Any of the salads, I usually do like the, the salmon spinach salad is my favorite lunch item. I uh, have to pick and choose when I eat here uh, to sort of reward myself. I was just telling Jerry, I did my run this morning, so I'm coming out here to have something fried and some pie. It is definitely a reward when you get a chance to eat at the Hammett House, from the great food to the great people. It's great. I love what we do. There is absolutely no greater reward than to come out and visit with my customers and see how happy we make them. Uh, you know, by the time they leave, you know, it's my goal is you know, to make them have a better day. And that's what our staff does. And i uh, pretty proud of that. In Claremore, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. If you're looking for great dining destinations that are well worth the drive, pick up a copy of the current Oklahoma Today magazine. The entire issue is devoted to food. Inside, they cover everything from food festivals to 29 must-eat places in the Sooner State. You can find one on newsstands around Oklahoma or go online to oklahomatoday.com. And about 45 minutes from that delicious meal in Claremore is another must-see place in northeastern Oklahoma. Julie Chen takes 
takes us under the sea to the Oklahoma Aquarium at James. That's so fun and you get to see a lot of sea animals. It's five-year-old Marley's first trip to the Oklahoma Aquarium. She's pretty excited to see her favorite sea creatures. The jellyfish and the sea stars. Ten-year-old Jacob prefers the bigger batter fish. Stingrays and the sharks. No matter if you're a fan of Jaws or Finding Nemo, there's something for everyone at the Oklahoma Aquarium. Well, we have literally hundreds of species, thousands of animals, and they range from the most simple cellular invertebrates, an anemone, a sea sponge, you go up to sea stars, and then you start getting bigger. The aquarium is actually laid out from invertebrates, which are those very simple animal structures, up to where you get to the sharks. There's more than fish here too. Be on the lookout for iguanas and turtles and beavers, oh my. So you also see river animals, um, not only from huge rivers that are far away like the Amazon, but you will see in aquatic Oklahoma, fish and other species that you may not have realized we're swimming under your feet in our lakes and rivers. The Oklahoma Aquarium is constantly changing, renovating, and adding new exhibits. One of the most popular, the Extreme Amazon. That is an exhibit where kids and some adventurous adults can actually get on their hands and knees and crawl under tunnels that go under the water surface. And it has acrylic bubbles that you pop your head up in and have the fish literally swimming around your head. And so that is a real immersive experience. This is a hands-on kind of place. Not only can you watch the creatures, you can feed them and touch them too. The stingray and small shark touch tank has always been one of our most popular exhibits because kids and adults can roll up their sleeves and put their hands in the water and safely touch stingrays that have had their uh, stingers clipped and also small sharks and see what they feel like. There's also a new shrimp boat touch tank with shrimp and horseshoe crabs. What did it feel like? It feel like my hand was walking off. The shark exhibit is another must see. Take your time strolling through this unique tunnel filled with almost half a million gallons of salt water. As sharks swim overhead, it's cool and creepy all at the same time. Like you're gonna get eaten. Over the past few years, this exhibit and the sharks have grown big time. Well, they're now all over 100 pounds. We vary between 18 to 22 sharks in this exhibit, mostly bull sharks. We're the only aquarium that we know of that has this large of a collection of bull sharks and the largest bull sharks known in captivity. Nurse sharks are the bottom dwellers. They're a lot like overgrown catfish, if you will. Um, they like to vacuum up their food. It's a very important job in the shark world. The sharks dine mostly on frozen salmon and squid. They're fed twice a week, and if you time it right, you can watch. They eat about 100 pounds during a feeding, and that's for the whole tank, and then they're good until the next feeding. So we do have a very methodical way that we feed them and people get to see how they behave when they're fed. The Oklahoma Aquarium is a nonprofit and operates with a paid staff of less than 50. More than 300 volunteers also pitch in. Together, their hard work keeps this special living museum afloat. How many times have you wished your child would put down the controller to the Xbox or stop playing on their iPhone and really see something real? This is real. This is learning real information with real live animals. And it's an asset here in Oklahoma that we just don't have anywhere else in the state or the region. The Oklahoma Aquarium. Dive right in and prepare to get hooked. I like it. In Jinx, Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. All right, let's count them off. So far, we've had a great meal, and we have walked literally underwater. There are so many more adventures in Oklahoma that you can plan, which is why you need to order a copy of the Oklahoma Travel Guide. It's easy to get, and have we mentioned it's free? Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and look up at the top where it says, Request Free Brochures.
you know, it's almost summer, so it's time to start talking about lakes. Absolutely, and if you aren't lucky enough to have your own spot on the water, that's okay. We'll help you find a great place to stay. I mean, just look at these rooms. We're headed toward Lake Tinkeller coming up. And they started small. Just a good barbecue sandwich with a cold beer. Wait till you see what that grew into coming up. And one of the most peaceful journeys through our great state. It's just an awesome looking area. Um, something I've never seen before. The spot every Oklahoman just has to see. Still ahead when Discover Oklahoma continues. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Making crazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land. And, and where we belong to is land. So when we say, Yay! Yeah. 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 We're always saying, You're doing fine. Oklahoma. 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 Come see for yourself. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by Freddy's Barbecue and Steakhouse in Sepulpa. Dining that's worth the drive. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Route 66 Interpretive Center in Chandler. This is a great place to stop by mm -hmm. if you're on a drive this summer. And if your drive happens to take you to an Oklahoma River or lake, you are in luck. The magic man himself, Jeff Roberts, <laughs> has just the place you need to stay if you have a float trip in mind. Can you believe it? This is how Blue Doors began. As a cabin engulfed by the woods and just minutes away from Lake Tinkiller and the lower Illinois. In fact, Motors passing through just saw nothing but weeds. But Jane and Pat Honecker envisioned a resort like none other. So I'm so pumped about the whole Blue Doors, Jane. And uh, before we go too much further, we're in one of the rooms, room six, I think. But the Blue Doors, tell me about what that means to you. I mean, and why you went with the Blue Doors. Well, when we were on a vacation trip out to Santa Fe and visiting some friends actually in Madrid, New Mexico, uh, some friends told us that the door meant welcome. And so we decided when we came back and saw the property for sale that we would go with this Santa Fe look and started on our venture here with this. Blue Doors at Tinkiller likes to show off local artists in their rooms, like Katie Truitt in room six. She's one of the local girls and we try to get local art all through the rooms. And we welcome artists to come and bring their art. We would like to get more artists down here at Blue Doors. See, there you go. If you're a local artist, they're calling for you right here at the Blue Doors at Ten Killer. Blue Doors at Ten Killer is an experience you'll never forget. I mean, just look at these rooms. You get to fish and boat around the pond. Take part in some awesome classes they offer in the Techie TP. Pick homegrown veggies and then cook them with that amazing outdoor kitchen that Guy Fieri himself would be jealous of. Oh, and float the lower Illinois. It's about six miles and we let you off down here, down below the dam, and then we go down to Gore Landing. And then we pick everyone up. And one of us can go with you if you don't feel comfortable that you might end up in the Arkansas, but. So far, we haven't had anyone end up in the Arkansas, so. We've had so much fun here, but you have to do a little bragging on yourself. You guys won a very prestigious award, and I just think it's cool, so come on, brag on yourself a little bit. Tell me about it. Well, we won the Keep Oklahoma Beautiful Sustainability Award, and uh, we felt really privileged and really grateful to get that, and it was wonderful. This is why they won the award, or it might be because of the award-winning massages you can get. So from the Blue Doors at Tin Killer and for Discover Oklahoma, I'm Jeff. To find out more about places like Blue Doors and other spots to get out and enjoy Oklahoma, request a copy of our Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Just go to our website, travelok.com, and click on Request Free Brochures. About this time every year, people start to finalize all their plans for summer getaways. And always on the agenda, without exception, is the searing question, where are we going to eat? <laughs> 
it's got queso, it's got jalapeno gravy, there's bacon, and oh, just deliciousness. The stop you've just got to make if you're headed through southern Oklahoma. When you're out here, you just feel completely blessed. And a trip to one of the most peaceful parts of our state. Don't miss this destination worth the drive. Still ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Hot off the press, order your free copy of the 2015 Oklahoma Outdoor Guide and get an all-access pass to the very best places, attractions, and activities Oklahoma has to offer. Go online to TravelOK.com and order your free copy today. It closes in the door. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Chandler this week in the Route 66 Interpretive Center. You know, the Mother Road is a great one to drive, but right. this next story is actually about a different road. Our Tina McGarry explains in this story about a great place to stop and eat in Ardmore. You know, we, I opened the place in, 19, in, in 87 and I decided I was going to do beer and, 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 and sliced beef sandwiches. That was the key. Just a good barbecue sandwich with a cold beer. We grew from there. More than 25 years later, that simple plan is still working. Budrow's Rib Joint has some of the best barbecue you'll ever sink your teeth into. Of course, our long hickory smoke pit barbecue. You know, we don't use any gas, no electric. It's all hickory and pecan wood. Uh, we smoke in a 30-year-old pit that we had built uh, prior to opening the first location. So. We do the hickory pit uh, barbecue. Our burgers, we do an onion fried, hand pattied barbecue, never frozen meat. Um, we hand patty those, we sell those one, two, three, four patties tall. Uh, incredible, incredible hamburger. It's not just about the burgers and entrees though, they have some really popular appetizers, their wings, and these are the voodoo fries we've heard about. Pan cut fries, fried twice so it's crispy outside and then soft on the inside like a baked potato. It's got queso, it's got jalapeno gravy, there's bacon and oh, just deliciousness, a little sriracha on top. Mmm, little spice, it's so good. Delicious food and a fun, cool and casual atmosphere. The walls and ceiling inside Budrow's are covered in nostalgia. Things, you know, that, that, that drew a memory from our childhood, that's sort of what we think is, you know, someone else remembers that tricycle, someone else remembers that toy, someone else remembers that and it, it kind of generates that, that good feeling when they look around and go, oh gosh, I remember one of those, you know, so. That's kind of it. Delicious appetizers, salads and sandwiches, barbecue and burgers. Budrose is a crowd pleaser. And just off I-35 in Ardmore, Budrose has easy interstate access. It's a great trip. You know, Oklahoma is a wonderful, wonderful part of the country. And, you know, get in your car, roll the window down, take a little trip down I-35. And uh, you happen into these small towns like Ardmore. You know, you're going to meet some good people. You're going to see some good surroundings. Uh, lo and behold, you're going to eat something really, really good. I couldn't agree more. In Ardmore, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma. No matter where your next road trip takes you, we'll help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click on Dining. From great food now to a great view. And our next story is one of the best in Oklahoma. It's flat everywhere, and also there's this mountain range. A trip back in time, coming up right here next on Discover Oklahoma. Sweet. When the wind comes right behind the rain, we know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is grand. So when we say, I am the only one. We're only saying you're doing fine, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the Heartland Flyer. Book your ticket through Southern Oklahoma today. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma in Chandler this week at the Route 66 Interpretive Center. 
our state, one of the great things about it is there's something for everybody. Rivers and lakes, mountains and prairies, we've got it all. Absolutely, and in southwestern Oklahoma, there's an attraction rich in history and natural beauty. Come with me now to the holy city of the Wichitas. The surroundings appear timeless. I'm very impressed. It's essentially a replica of what ancient Jerusalem looked like. It's just an awesome looking area, um, something I've never seen before. Standing watch majestically over the area is the Christ of the Wichitas. Standing 23 feet high, the white marble statue can be seen from the road as one approaches. The beauty of any day spent here transforms into a tranquility that can many times elude our everyday hectic lives. This is home to the nation's longest running outdoor Easter pageant, and the staging of the pageant was actually the reason for the design. Now the grounds are open year round from eight to sundown. The gift shop closes on Christmas day, and people come from miles around to experience the serenity that can be found here. Uh, it's uh, really beautiful. Uh, outside, it's really warm, nice day. One of the first things that caught my eye were the, you know, like kind of like the castle-like structures, you know, like on the hills right there in the, the chapel, I guess. I actually like how uh, each side of it kind of looks like a, a keep, you know, on each end of the church. And the chapel is almost an anchor on one side, while on the other side are three wooden crosses. Over the years, the chapel has become a popular location for weddings, while outside there's a contrast between the rugged terrain created by the red granite protruding from the earth. But as people walk around through the area, they are always moved by what's here, especially when the weather cooperates and you can enjoy being outside. Just a nice breeze rolling through, sitting in the shade, going through the buildings, looking at everything, and just being able to enjoy it while it lasts before it gets too hot and too cold. And like I said, when you're out here, you just feel completely blessed because with weather like this, you don't see it much too often where I'm from and just getting to be around here just makes you feel on top of the world. Well, I would highly recommend it to them and um, just tell them that it's definitely worth stopping and taking in all the ambiance, I guess you could say, of, of the whole setting. Randy was stationed at Fort Sill over 30 years ago, now living in Cincinnati. A wedding has brought his family back to the area and he wanted them to see the refuge and the holy city. I've been telling them about this for about four months. I said, you'll never believe it. It's just one of a kind. It's flat everywhere and all of a sudden there's this mountain range. And come up here and see the buffalo, the longhorns, you have the holy city here, you have uh, Mount Scott. It's just a beautiful place to come. It's outside, outdoors, beautiful weather. A beautiful, peaceful area to enjoy on a beautiful Oklahoma day. That's the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge and the holy city of the Wichitas. Plan your trip to the Wichita Mountains on our website, travelok.com, and you'll find places to stay and things to do. We want to say a big thank you to the folks here in Chandler at the Route 66 Interpretive Center for hosting us this week. It's easy to find. The museum is right on Route 66. There's easy access from I-44, admissions $5 for adults, 4 for kids and seniors. Coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, get ready for a mouth-watering look at some of the best new Mexican food in the state. And how to get that authentic oaky look. The t-shirt shops that everybody is shopping next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Our intrepid Ford Explorer is provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.